Hey guys, Jesse Rousey here once again. I put together some really great training to talk with you about the importance of customer reviews and how they impact your local marketing strategy. So if you understand how customer reviews work, then this is going to be some repetitive information. For those of you that are out there and looking to dominate local search and look for ways to do that, um, customer reviews are an incredibly powerful way to do that. So I'm going to talk with you a little bit about that the anatomy of a search, how customer reviews play into that, and why as a small business owner and or professional that's marketing the products and services should focus on customer reviews. So hopefully you enjoy the presentation. For those of you that stick around till the end, I got a special promotion for you where you can gain access to our premium power listing service, which is one of the most powerful ways that you can impact your search results online with business directories, business pages, and social media reviews. Uh, and monitoring. So enjoy the presentation and stick around till the end for that special promotion. Hey guys, Jesse Rousey here once again. Uh, got some additional training. I'm going to talk with you today again about reviews, the review process, and how to generate more reviews within your business. I'm going to follow this up with uh, some more tactical information, but I wanted to give you some more strategy and insights. I'm going to be sending out an email uh, kind of as a follow up in regards to this presentation talk with you a little bit about the power of reviews and uh, how they impact your business. One of the things we do in the Local Marketing Toolkit is make sure that you're getting a ton of reviews and make sure uh, that from a performance standpoint you do that more effectively than your competition. Um, so I'm going to talk with you about the importance of that and how it impacts the way people uh, see you online and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. now. About 87% of consumers won't consider a local business that has a low review rating. So in this example, let's say that you were a dentist and you're out there and all things being equal, somebody's searching for a new dentist, they go out, they see two dental offices. One has a lot of really great reviews um, and then the other dental office has a lot of poor reviews. Of course, uh, as consumers, we want to make sure that we're getting the best product and or service and uh, what we'll do is we'll inevitably end up picking the uh, dental office that has the higher amount of reviews. Now this goes across the board, doesn't matter. Um, one thing that we need to get clear is the majority of our products are commodities out there and we offer very similar products to our competition, especially if we're um, working in the red ocean where there's a big market there and there's a lot of competition in that red ocean. Uh, what we do is we go out and have very similar products and if we have a similar product and service, this makes that product and service a commodity. I talk a lot about this in regards to how to go from a being um, you know, driven by price or being a commodity in the marketplace to being the high cost provider in the marketplace and some of our other trainings. Um, but if you do have a product or service where there is a lot of competition, understand that the majority, the vast majority of consumers will choose the provider with the highest number of ratings or the highest rating scores uh, as far as reviews and this uh, goes across the board doesn't matter uh, if you're uh, a dental agent doesn't matter if you're paintless dent repair company doesn't matter if you're a collision repair uh, company um, but what they say is 44% uh, of consumers pay attention to the quality of the reviews of the reviews in addition to the quantity of the reviews as well so uh, what we want to do is from a strategy standpoint make sure that we're focused on customer reviews not only driving reviews for, for through our business pages our directory pages and social media but also generating video reviews so that we can utilize those for marketing purposes um, on uh, different social media platforms and then also on our website as well 69% of consumers only find relevance in reviews that are less than two to three months old. What this means is, is that um, from a business standpoint, you want to be generating reviews on a consistent basis. You want to generate reviews um, every single week, uh, every time that you do a uh, or provide your product and service to uh, your customer. You want to make sure that you uh, generate a review from that because again, uh, about 70% um, only consider uh, reviews that are less than three months, two to three months old, relevant to their buying decision. Now, there's a bunch of different platforms where you can get reviews on there. And one of the things that we do, uh, in addition to our review automation, is we also leverage one of our strategic partners, which is Yext. 
in order to manage your presence across the web. Um, so Yex actually integrates with over 70 different platforms um, to provide you one central location in order to manage all the reviews that are out there, whether they come in through Facebook or Yelp or um, you know some other place, Google My Business, some of the other business directory pages, uh, business pages and or social media pages. So that's one of the reasons that we utilize the Yex platform is because they provide a really um, streamlined process in order to manage customer reviews in order to gauge with them engage with them and also order to move them through the review process which is starting them off as a review then working them into an endorsement and then lastly a customer uh, referral so we'll talk with you a little bit about that um, on some future <clears throat> future trainings so Google actually leverages reviews in order to determine how they're going to rate people. So the first thing they take a look at is the relevance of your search. So let's say that um, somebody's searching for you know dent or ding repair in their local market. Um, Google actually utilizes the reviews that you have on your business page in order to determine where they're going to rank you um, as far as their map goes and then also as far um, as their um, business pages go. So relevance is incredibly important. Um, whether or not uh, the end user is searching for your products and services is one of the key factors that Google utilizes in order to go out there and uh, rank um, the search. Um, the distance, so when you're talking about mobile search, uh, there's a lot of different factors that go into that and we wanna be leveraging mobile as much as possible, but the distance from where the user is searching and, and people are gonna utilize, or Google actually utilizes the GPS on the mobile device in order to determine the distance from search. That's why um, leveraging searches in your local market is incredibly important. Um, and making sure that you're listed on Google Maps and also uh, Apple Maps uh, and Bing Maps, and all the different mapping, Map, MapQuest, you know, all the different mapping software out there is incredibly important because it does help with your ranking in regards to where you show up when people are searching for your product and service. And the final factor in regards to search results is the prominence. How prominent? Are all the other factors associated with the search? Uh, is your business listed? And this has to do with like the name, address, and phone number of your business and whether or not that's consistent. Another reason that we utilize the X platform is because it does duplicate suppression. So that if we have listings out there that are um, potential duplicates, we can mitigate those listings. We can uh, resolve issues where the name, address, and phone number are not consistent across the web and we what we really want to do is we want to create all these road signs out on the internet and what these road signs do is they point back to your business um, so if we can do this on you know maps we can do this on directory pages we can do this on social media we can do this on all your business pages and all the information is consistent across the board we increase the prominence relevance and then we can leverage the distance of the searches going on for your products and services um, through the technology that we utilize uh, through our strategic partners. So the review actually uh, impacts the organic engagement. As you can see here, uh, great reviews will increase your click-through rates by up to 153% based off of Yuck's study uh, in 2016. It's actually increasing over time. Reviews are incredibly powerful and you need to be leveraging these uh, for organic search um, because they do, uh, when you utilize the markups and you're utilizing your reviews in order to um, improve in organic reach, uh, this is something that can be incredibly powerful compared to another company's website who's not utilizing reviews in order to increase organic reach. Um, so reviews, uh, what this says is reviews are the key to s starring in search. And, you know, that's kind of a play on words, but it is so true because when you take a look at the anatomy of search and uh, you take a look and you go out there and you do a search for products and services, the page is built up of a couple of different factors. It's built up of paid advertising at the top. Um, you have your map searches and things like that that you're leveraging through the um, Yex platform and local marketing toolkit. 
Um, and then you start getting into your business pages and directory pages. And then what we're doing is we're starting to see your organic reach on there. So the key to dominating the first page on Google search when people are searching for your products and services is make sure that you understand the different components that go into that first page. Paid ads, maps, um, business pages and directories, and then organic search and reviews. Um, or, or reviews in order to impact your organic search as well. So the key to that, the key to making sure that you dominate that entire first page is to make sure that you go out there and are focused on those four areas uh, on an ongoing basis. Now, once you get the stage set and you're inviting people to the party, there is a lot of things that you wanna make sure that you're able to do. First and foremost is monitoring. Um, if you're Subscribe to our local marketing toolkit. Of course, you get a subscription to the X platform included in that, um, but you can also subscribe to our premium power listing as well. Uh, it doesn't give you as high a touch uh, type of environment as the local marketing toolkit, but it does provide the monitoring that you need. Uh, additionally, we provide uh, training, ongoing training through the local marketing toolkit um, in regards to how to generate more reviews, how to generate more endorsements, and how to generate more customer uh, referrals. So that's incredibly important. And then once you generate those reviews, you wanna make sure that you're publishing them on your business pages, your directory pages, and also social media. We provide you an easy process in order to accomplish that uh, through our customer review automation platform. Uh, we wanna make sure that we're responding to reviews on a regular basis, not just negative reviews, but it's incredibly powerful and important that when somebody leaves you a review, that you thank them for taking the time to leave that review. Um, you do it publicly, and then you um, and then you try to move them to the next the next phase. If it's a negative review, of course you're going to try to mitigate that review. You're going to try to go out there and say, "Hey, you know what? Sorry, you had a poor experience. What can we do to make that up for you?" Or explain the process of what happened and how you would like to make it right. Uh, as any good customer service representative would if it's a positive review they may they've automatically moved into the endorsement phase so the next phase of a customer review would be a referral and uh, you can easily move people in there say hey um, give them a link give them a special provide them some type of incentives we appreciate your endorsement of our company product and or service we want to give you a link to uh, this page that gives you an incentive to share um, the special with uh, your network and uh, in, into um, giving them some type of benefit associated with reviews. And then lastly, we want to make sure that we're monitoring our progress all along the way, whether it's um, or providing insights, what are our developing, what our key indicators are, key performance indicators are, uh, tracking those indicators and then building on them on an ongoing basis. So the majority of this is provided in the X platform. We expand on that through our customer review training process, um, which uh, you can gain access to through the local marketing toolkit. But what I wanted to do today is just talk with you about the importance of the X platform and how it fits into the whole puzzle. Because a lot of our customers, we um, are a fully managed environment. We set up all the software for people and or for our clients, and then we, we move it out into their offices and their environment so they can um, monitor their progress in real time and then they can also um, respond to reviews they can also monitor that whole process as well um, thank people for their reviews we create a really nice environment for them in order to accomplish that um, but a lot of our owners uh, don't actually engage with the environment so it's incredibly important that you're aware of what's out there how it fits together and what you should be doing on a daily basis in order to help drive growth within your organization. Now, the important part is to understand the generation process. There's a couple of different ways that you can do this and I'm gonna talk with you about that process. You first and foremost, you need to request reviews on an ongoing basis. You need to gather feedback or make that those feedback loops part of your process in your business. You need to do that on an ongoing basis. Feedback loops will give you a lot of information. They're gonna uh, give you information on your product and service, whether or not people are engaged and utilizing it, and it's providing real value in the marketplace. Additionally, you can get feedback loops in order to help you develop your products and services and you know maybe provide a higher level of service to your clientele. 
you want to make sure that once you do get that feedback, uh, you are um, you know adding those reviews to your website on an ongoing basis so that you can utilize those uh, for organic search. So you want to make sure that there's a process in order to get reviews uh, from your different business directory pages, from um, your social media and everything like that. And you want to make sure that those get published on your website um, so that when uh, people are searching for your products and services, they find your website, they're able to see those reviews easily and you can actually utilize those uh, in search engine results. You know, So that's an incredible important process for you. So there's a couple of different ways that you can generate reviews and I'm talking about or we're going to be um, you know, covering each step uh, of the process and I'm going to provide training on each one of these uh, ways to collect reviews in future trainings. But I'm going to give you a high level overview of what you should be thinking about in order to generate more reviews. Um, first and foremost, uh, what I encourage everybody to do is ask for reviews on the spot. As soon as you deliver your product and service and you have a happy customer, make sure that you solicit a review. Uh, generally, we'll do this via text messaging. So that's one of the ways that um, we provide training uh, for our clients to do is make sure that you send them a nice text message requesting a review. Additionally, you can uh, solicit a review via email. Um, you can also solicit reviews on your website. Uh, if you have a checkout process on your website, make the review process part of that checkout process. Um, there's push notifications. So push notifications are permission based and they're done through your website. Um, but what they do is you can actually do through a push notification, you can actually integrate the review process very easily and simply um, in the post checkout process or if people uh, or categorized as customers uh, when they do come to your website um, and or if they access their uh, mobile device and or desktop device they can get a notification that is soliciting a review. Um, another way to do it would be on any type of receipts that you have. Um, so if you're utilizing a billing system, a quoting system, or you're utilizing uh, a payment gateway um, like Foursquare, or PayPal, or something like that. You're collecting credit card information. Make sure that you integrate your reviews into your receipts uh, and your emails that go out to your customers um, when they make a payment to you. Um, this can be on your e-commerce platform or some other type of platform, um, your billing platform, um, you know, payment gateways and things of this nature. Incredibly powerful. And just make sure that you get those integrated as well. Uh, you can put them on cards, you know, put them on your, your printed cards. Uh, if it's going to be part of your processes, you should integrate it on each um, piece of your marketing material. So this might be your business card, uh, it might be your brochures, it might be in your offices, um, you know, that, that sort of thing. Um, we definitely highly encourage that you utilize it as part of your web experience. You know, we build out review funnels for our clients through the local marketing toolkit. Uh, we provide some training on this as well through the local marketing toolkit and how to do that. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're walking people through the review process and lowering the amount of friction associated with completing that and then asking them at the proper time, soliciting that review um, as well. Uh, we can also leverage other partners and things of that nature in order to uh, get reviews, uh, making sure that if we do have strategic partners or if we are partnered with uh, other companies like, for instance, uh, in our PDR industry or PDR customers, uh, they might ha have uh, wholesale customers that they um, are providing to you on an ongoing basis. You might want to provide them an easy, low friction process in order to get uh, reviews for the work that you perform through, you know, either auto dealerships uh, and or auto body shops and things of that nature. Just make the review process part of your business process and you're going to have a lot more success in regards to how you show up online and what that looks like in the anatomy of a search. So it can be incredibly powerful. Now, once you generate those reviews, you definitely want to be publishing the reviews. Um, publish them on your website, publish them on your social media sites, republish them on your business pages and things of that nature. A lot of direct, you know, business directory pages actually have sections for reviews like uh, Yelp, um, Facebook and things of that nature. But 
what you want to do is you want to be taking those and then republish them on other social media sites like um, you know Twitter or Pinterest or, or whatnot. You can actually, uh, if it's a heavily image site, you can create images and then share those images. Um, if it's a text site like Twitter, you can just republish those on those reviews on Twitter and the content. So make sure that the way that you're publishing matches the platform, um, but that you're reviewing and publishing those uh, on an ongoing basis as well. So other ways that you use reviews, uh, other ways to use the reviews you generate as far as publishing goes. Um, show the reviews on your marketing emails. So if you're utilizing, we do this internally a lot. Um, we collect reviews on an ongoing basis and then we're utilizing those reviews on our marketing emails. We understand that there's a, a cognitive bias called social proof that you have to overcome if you want people to purchase your product and service. It's one of the cognitive buying biases. And so we provide this information on the front end. Uh, most of the time, if you're involved in, been involved in business for any amount of time, you realize that a lot of people want a, you know, a review or a customer uh, testimonial or something like that um, before they purchase your product and service. So if you're providing these reviews um, on your marketing emails and things of this nature, uh, that definitely speeds up the process because you're providing it on the front end. If you have a checkout process online, um, you can show your reviews on your checkout flow. You know, as people come through the checkout process, they're going to have to overcome these cognitive buying biases as well. Um, and one of the ways that you can do that is just include reviews in that purchase process. Um, so on your purchase pages, you can include some reviews and you can um, speed up the purchase process and you can overcome buyer's remorse um, as they're going through that purchase process. If they have a um, some type of uh, buying remorse or they're you know going through the buying process but they're not really sure seeing those reviews uh, is a great way in order to reassure them that purchasing your product or service is going to be a good decision um, and then you want to show reviews on your paid ads if you're not utilizing uh, your reviews on your paid ads that's something that you should be doing on an ongoing basis uh, making sure that you're um, utilizing those reviews in order to um, you know, make your paid advertising look more predominant and more effective. So uh, some incredibly, incredible, powerful ways in order to use reviews. But again, you have to initiate the review process. You have to make it part of your business process in order to utilize these reviews in all these different places in order to make you look more prominent online. You definitely have to initiate that process. Um, review responses. So inside the X platform, we monitor the review process. And uh, then we give you a username and login in regards to Yak. So if you're doing this, you know, through our premium power listing service, which I'll provide some links to, um, and or if you're subscribed to the local marketing toolkit, log into or when you get email notifications on an ongoing basis, make sure that you respond to reviews, both positive and negative. Again, if it's a positive review, thank them for taking the time. Um, and also move them into your customer referral process uh, from that regard. You know, provide them a quick link. These are all, you know, just little nudges that you can do along the process um, that can drive more business. And that's what you want to do. You want to drive more business within your organization. So for every review, you should be thinking about, well, did they endorse us? That's the next step. If they did endorse you, okay, did they provide a referral? That's the next step. Well, if you don't have a process in place in order to get referrals, then you're probably not going to generate a lot of referrals. But if you have a referral process that provides some incentives to your customer endorsements and you're providing them a quick link that provides a low friction process in order to get referrals, then you're definitely going to get more referrals. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, you would. So I know you would agree because that's just the way people work. So anyways, um, so that would be for positive reviews that are endorsements, moving them through that referral process. The other way to do it is for those negative reviews. What you want to do is mitigate those, respond to them. They're not bad. Negative reviews aren't bad. It's just feedback. It's not good or bad. It's just feedback. And you can't win every game. 
you can't um, please everyone. But what you want to do is you want to handle it professionally with a high level of touch, high level of customer service. You want people to see how you handle negative reviews. You want to make sure that you do that quickly, you do it promptly, and you do everything you can in order to provide the highest level of customer service and to serve that client who might not have been satisfied with the product or service that you delivered. Now, <clears throat> so businesses that respond to, this is a great statistic here, as I was saying, is businesses that respond to reviews see on average a one-fourth star increase on their average rating, meaning that when you're responding to reviews on an ongoing basis, you're going to get higher reviews. When you're responding to reviews on a, on a regular basis, you're going to get more endorsements. When you're responding to reviews on a regular basis, you're going to get more customer referrals. So it's important that you respond to all your reviews uh, and that you do it on a regular basis, both good and bad, and you learn and you have a process in place in order to generate more customer um, referrals in that, that regard. Now, in addition to this, we provide a really great platform in order to accomplish that. Again, uh, review insights are incredibly powerful. What this does is it monitors all your reviews across the board so that we can see what our average review are and we can have some goals in regards to what's new, what's old, how are we, how are we tracking, what are our insights telling us. And we want to make sure that we're taking a look at those review insights and we're driving uh, improved results in regards to our reviews. Because again, this is going to feed into all the different aspects of our business and it'll keep us on track uh, as far as review monitoring. So the X platform gives us the ability to stay informed in real time. It keeps tabs on all of your reviews and uh, it gives us the ability to schedule some customizations in regards to notifications um, so that if we do get some negative reviews, we can go in there and do that. So if you haven't logged in uh, to our strategic partner platform in Yext, yet and you're not reviewing that uh, and getting that set up uh, go ahead and do so now uh, if you have logged in uh, great go make sure that um, you call your local marketing director if you are if you do need some additional training uh, make sure that you reach out and contact them if you are subscribed to the software through our premium power listing service you know reach out through our support portal at support.razorsharpnetworks.com if you need if you have any challenges with that we're more than happy to help you out more than happy to show you how to customize both your notifications and your dashboards and things of that nature. So it can be incredibly powerful. You know, reviews are a incredibly powerful tool and a mechanism. I can't communicate that enough. It's a in the Yex platform that we provide and also the other training and tools that we provide in order to generate more reviews. Is it going to drive business growth? The problem is, is that in the past you haven't been focused enough on generating reviews. I have customers, we have customers that have been generating reviews for the past three to four years that see a tremendous uptake in how people engage with their paid advertising, how people engage on the maps, how people engage in their um, business directory pages and business pages, how people engage in their, uh, their organic reach. So if you want to increase uh, performance across the board, then you need to focus on reviews and you need to provide reviews and a process in place that's low friction on an ongoing basis. Now, um, generating powerful first party reviews. Uh, this is kind of the process here. Reviews attract customers. These are the benefits associated with that. Future customers see your reviews in organic search results um, and they perform very, very well for local search. Um, customers transact with your business. So this is this is kind of the review feedback funnel that we're looking to create. Customers transact with your business. A customer visits your business and transacts. Um, the next stage that you should be focused on from a business process standpoint is you request a review. Uh, if you request a review from that customer after the transaction, you do it early on in the process. The sooner the better, the more likely you are able to get a review. If you go back to all the different ways that I've talked with you about how to generate those reviews, it's incredibly powerful. It's something that you want to be focused on and make sure that you are generating those reviews uh, as quickly as possible. Again, with all things being equal, execution is going to be the differentiator between you and your competition. So make sure that you're executing more effectively. Customers leave a review. Once a customer leaves a review, you publish it on your website. 
social media sites and things of that nature. We're utilizing it on, we're utilizing those markups in order to increase your visibility on both paid and organic search. Uh, Google is utilizing it in order to rank you higher on map searches and also business directory searches. So, and then the process starts all over again. Those reviews attract customers over and over again. So as you can see, the review process, incredibly important, but you need to put it, you need to make sure that it's part of your business process and that you're doing it on an ongoing basis. Now, so this is a, this is the powerful first party reviews and review generation is incredibly important. We talked to you a little bit about that process. Now, in addition to that, um, you've got to be collecting the review actually gives you the ability to start collecting uh, customer information. But if you don't collect it on the front end, currently you need to make sure that you're collecting it on an ongoing basis, whether that's in a CRM, it's in your billing software or something like that. We need to make sure that you're focused on collecting information because if you don't get that a review initially, there's got to be a way for you to follow up. Again, it all starts with that customer. It all starts with collecting um, their information and making sure that you're able to market to them in the future. So if you have a billing software that you're uh, a quoting software or a CRM, that's great. We're going to utilize that in order to provide some post follow-up process. Again, if you have a POS system, we can utilize that. If you have a mobile system, we can utilize that. We want to make sure that we're able to reach out to them via email. Uh, if we don't get them via email, of course, we want to follow up with a postcard you know, get them on the postcard or we want to follow up with social media and retargeting. There's a bunch of different ways that we can follow up or with a push notification, but we need to make sure that we're tracking our customers all the way from um, the post product or service delivery phase all the way through the review endorsement and customer referral phase. So incredibly important part of the process. So again, we talked about this. Um, we want to make sure that we're able to collect information uh, via email, websites, in-store ads, point of sale receipts, mobile apps, all different ways that we can talk about that. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we understand that we actually have the ability to do this uh, through our platform at Yucks. This is talking a little bit about the platform uh, generating customer reviews. So we're going to help you through that process in regards to getting that set up. We've also got the endorsement platform that we're going to be setting up and showing you how to utilize. So there's a lot of tools out there. If you're subscribed to Local Marketing Toolkit, we're going to talk with you a little bit about all those tools. We're going to get you trained up on how to utilize them, but you're going to need to be generating reviews on an ongoing basis through the Local Marketing Toolkit. If you subscribe to some of our software ad hoc, uh, like our premium power listing or our customer review platform, uh, the software is going to be incredibly powerful, powerful for you. Um, what you're going to want to do is get that up and running. Those are for you to do it yourself first. You want to make sure that um, those softwares are available. They're an intricate part of our entire strategy. But what's really important is understand the power of reviews. Um, you want to make sure that you have the ability to not only go out there and solicit reviews, but you screen those reviews on an ongoing basis. You want to make sure that you quarantine those reviews that are less than three stars. Um, you want to make sure that you mitigate those and potentially mitigate the outreach of those. Now, again, I talked with you a little bit about mitigating poor reviews um, and responding to those. That doesn't mean that you want to um, pump out a whole bunch of negative reviews <laughs> of your business. You want to make sure that you can quarantine and resolve those reviews and t potentially turning them into um, good reviews uh, in the future. But if you do have a few negative reviews, uh, you can quarantine those reviews and you can uh, reach out to the customer individually. Make sure that you get those taken care of as well. You don't have to go out there and, and negative or you know deal with all the negative reviews that you get in regards to your company. The key is to put your best foot forward. Uh, make sure that you're handling people in a professional manner. Make sure that you're generating reviews on an ongoing basis to help promote your business and overcome that cognitive bias, which is social buying bias. You want to make sure that you have a flexible workflow um, for all of your employees. This is one of the things that a lot of you solopreneurs out there have a challenge doing is that you need to make sure that you put a workflow in place that your, all your employees can utilize in order to manage reviews as well. 
because uh, again, you want to make sure that if you are growing a business, you're leveraging other people's time and expertise in order to help perpetuate your business. The only ways you can do that is create processes within your organization that are simple and flexible, again, low friction, and uh, work on those processes so that you're generating reviews on an ongoing basis. Each one of your employees should be in generating reviews on a regular basis as well. Um, they should have processes in place in order to mitigate those reviews, and they should be generating them uh, as quickly as you are. You know, you can set up a competition uh, on a weekly basis, maybe provide some incentives. That, who's going to get the most reviews for our company this month? Uh, who's going to get uh, the most positive reviews? Who's going to get, you know, of course, if they're getting negative reviews, you're going to want to do something about that. So this can be a really great process in order to maintain some control within your organization. And if you have employees that you're starting to bring on board, use those review processes in order to, um, you know, stimulate some type of ownership in regards to the quality of service that they're delivering and also uh, potentially the quality of the product that they're delivering as well. Create those workflows within your organization. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed the presentation. Go ahead and leave your feedback on the page. Uh, for those of you who want to get access to our premium power listing service at a discounted rate of $97 for the life of your subscription, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. Um, I'm also going to show you how to gain access to that uh, through our website. So if you go to razorsharpnetworks.com, click on local marketing and then reputation management, it'll bring you to our premium power listing um, product page. And then you just click on subscribe, go ahead and make sure that you update the quantity to one and then in, in, enter in your coupon code, which will be freedom. Uh, when I recorded this, this is around the uh, 4th of July holiday. So we're going to use uh, coupon code FREEDOM in order to provide you a discount uh, on that product and or service. As you can see there, uh, with promo code FREEDOM, you're going to get a $50 off for the life of your subscription. Uh, so that's incredibly powerful for you. And it'll give you the ability to leverage some of the tools and technology that we talked about in the presentation. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Until the next time we speak, make today and every day a fantastic day. I'll talk with you real soon.